What's up guys, Dylon here, and the time has come for a March challenge. So like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll tell you what the challenge, I'll show you how to do it, and you can join on. It's a 30 day challenge, you can start at any point in time, but it's gonna be fun. What is the challenge? We're gonna be doing, on the Vitruvian, we're gonna be doing 30 days of 100 squats. And the reason why I'm doing this is I wanted something hard, I wanted something fun, I wanted to get massive quads for the short season for the summer, <laughs> but but really because I like squats, they're great exercise, and I broke my arm. I see, I had to get surgery on it, so I can't lift with my arms yet. I can't do push-ups, I can't do presses, I can't like. It's amazing how many things you can't do when you need a broken arm because you just can't hold the weight because you don't want the bone to put tension on there and the bone to break again. I don't want that. Maybe you do. I don't want that. Not fun. And I don't want to put weight on my back because of the tension and pressure on my arm. I don't want to put weight up here. So I'm pretty limited on what I can do. But I found with the Vitruvian, I can do belt squats. And I have it mostly set up. Belt squats have been great. They've been fantastic. So I've been doing that to stay in shape, get workouts in, in addition to like rucking and stuff like that. So it's boring but it's something and so that's why I want to do the challenge because I can't get full body workouts in but I want to stay healthy and fit so when I finally get the go from the doctor to be able to do weights that I can I'm ready to go and I think having strong legs it just makes you a better human I think the world would be a better place if more people did squats and one benefit of these belt squats because I was telling my, my doctor my surgeon about this I was like man you gotta get the Vitruvian it's really great you know you can do squats he's like well like you're not putting load on your back I'm like I, I, I use the belt and I'll show you here in just a second and he's like, oh, that's great because I, he's, I hurt my back and I, I can't squat because it puts the load on your back and a lot of pressure. And if you don't know this about the Vitruvian, this thing can go up to 440 pounds of digital resistance. It's a lot of weight. And that's a lot of weight to be putting on your back, especially if you're doing 100 squats a day. Well, I told the doctor, I was like, hey, with the belt, you put it around your hips, right? So there's no weight on your back. So there's no compression. There's no load there. So you can save your back, but you can still get the benefits. And what I found with the squats that I'm gonna do, and I'll show you these, is that they target your quads a lot more. And I always say the Vitruvian gives me like one of the best pumps ever, just because of how it's set up, the safety mechanisms on there and all that kind of stuff, amazing pump. And so if you wanna get big legs, targeted quads, do some freaking belt squats like I'm about to show you and you won't be disappointed. And if you wanna grab a Vitruvian, you can click one of the links below. It's an affiliate link. It helps support the channel for this challenge. I might come up with more things, maybe uh, some content around fitness and stuff like that. We'll see. Or you can go to getmyvitruvian.com as well and pick up one of these things. This has been the, one of the best investments in my health and fitness so far. We're gonna do belt squats. The goal is 100 a day. And if you're just starting out, you don't gotta do a lot of weight. And so the way I'm gonna break this down and I'm gonna get started on this thing, um, pull up the app. The app has the belt squats on there. You can just search the workout and just choose belt squats. Get this thing queued up. Let's see here. Belt squat. Okay, we're going to be using the belt right here. I have it already attached. I find it's easier. Safety cables. I have the short safety cables. You don't need the long ones. You could use them, especially if you're taller, but the short safety cables. And I like to use these little wedges. I bought these off Amazon for 20 bucks and it comes with a thicker one and a smaller one because if you squat, if your calves are tight, I'm limited right there in my range of motion. Okay? And they just help you, you get your heels up. So they help you, you get that range of motion a little bit better. So get this belt on. And one thing about this is not necessarily the most comfortable, but it gets the job done. They could probably build a more robust belt and it'd be nice if Vitruvian starts letting aftermarket parts come on the market because they have these proprietary clips which limit that but it is what it is so when you get this on here and i'm showing for demonstration i'm doing it facing backwards i tried it both ways if you're facing backwards you really want your feet as close to the front edge as possible because if you put your feet too far forward and you, you stand up fast you'll find the front end lifts up some it's not the end of the world, but you really don't want that. You want the same, this same say anchor to the ground. So feet as far back as possible. But if you can do that, you can see my feet very far back there. If you can do that, it just keeps the weights more in the center versus if you're flipped the other way. Um, it's harder to get your feet as far, like the center of your mass. I can see how it's pretty even with the cables. Um, you end up being like this to where it's more forward, right? 
and you're, you're pulling backwards. So it's a slightly different angle there. Changes the balance up a little bit. But the other thing you wanna do is you wanna have this belt real tight. You wanna have it on your hips, right? And for women, you might find this a little bit easier because you, you probably have a little wider hips than us men. But I like to have, I don't want it not like on my lower back, I want it like on my tailbone, like right above that. If you're wearing, ever worn a rock climbing harness, like the top of your hip bones right there. I flip these things over. So, I, so the flat side's out, they don't rotate this way. I find it to be better because I was finding that the side without the strap would rotate, right? This side would and this side wouldn't. So I just flip them both over, keeps things in position a little bit better. And last thing is you want to be when you're doing these squats and I'll do a little demo here before I hit my first set and I explain the rest of the set. Um, you want to do, you want to be in the right position, tight core, right? And butt out some. So you have a little almost shelf right there for the belt to pull into for right on your hips and right on your like tailbone. You don't want to be compressing your lower back there, but that little shelf keeps this from sliding down. Especially guys, if you, if you have a thinner waist, right? If you try to stand straight up, it's going to put a lot of pressure on your hips and pull your clothes down. They'll still put your clothes down some, but this way it keeps it in position a little more for your squat, like a really like a ready position, like you're ready to go move. It's on the balls of your feet and just squat down and a squat up. Pretty simple. And we're going to get this going. I like to start these off with 25 reps at a lower weight. My goal for the month is, and this could be your goal for your hundred is to get a hundred reps at my body weight. So about 200 pounds, a hundred reps um, in a row, right? With, for one set. But what I like to do, and each day I'm not gonna try to do that because my legs be totally toast, but I like to set, do 25 reps to start to warm up. For me, I like to do 80 on a side, on each side. And of course you should probably warm up before doing this. It's a little bit better to do it that way, but a simple sequence is 100 total reps for the workout. You can split it up or divide it up however you see fit. You can do lightweight, you can do heavier weight, you can combine different days. You just wanna get that 100 reps in. And the way I am gonna do it today is gonna to be real simple. I'm not gonna do any sort of fancy sets or heavier, super heavy things. I'm gonna do 25 reps at 80 pounds per side. It's 160 pounds for me. You can go lower, especially if you're new or not used to it, to get a feel for it, and I highly recommend that. Then I'm gonna do 15 reps. Then I'm gonna do 10 and the 15, I'll probably do it like, I'll probably bump those up to 125 per cable. So that's 250 and then 10, I'll probably bump that up to 150 per cable. So that's 300 and I like to squat heavy. I'll do lots of these. So make sure you start with a reasonable weight, right? Warm up, do all that kind of stuff. Don't, you don't wanna, you don't wanna hurt yourself on this thing. Well, here's what we're gonna do. 25 reps. I do 80 pounds each side, but pretty simple. Connect to my Vitruvian. And we're going to hit these reps Let me get my strap, make sure my straps are all. And I like the time under tension mode for me, that works the best, but let's hit these 25 reps. So you can see what they look like and you recreate them and everyone's going to have a little bit different flexibility. So the best thing for this to get the best out of this is you're going to want to stretch your calves and get flexibility like that. I need to work on that, but let's just move some weight. Load, strip one. And one key here, normally I just go through these, but you can look at your phone. So set it in place, you can see it. And if you go down too fast, it'll reduce the weight. You want to keep the weight consistent, right? And it'll tell you afterwards in the exercise stats. Good, smooth, consistent force upwards. You don't gotta go like really slow, but you can put some pressure and you don't gotta go too slow down, but you'll find your rhythm. And I do find like if you go down too far, you can get off balance depending on your flexibility. So be careful with that. You don't wanna fall over. Last rep, thing ended. All right, that's 25 reps on this. Pretty simple workout for this thing. So that's why I got 75 more. Again, I'm gonna do 15, then 10, then 15 again. And for my last set, I like to try to do 50 plus 
at my starting weight. I'll go off for mine and you can choose the weights that work best for you. I like to add more when I do less reps and, and this workout particularly, I don't, I'm not doing, it's super heavy. I have a variation. I'll show you one of the other days for that. Pretty simple. Overall, this thing's going to burn your legs and quads. So make sure you stretch them out, do some massaging. If you're going to do this for 30 days, just know it's probably not personal trainer or polluter. It's more of a challenge to see. And if you get injured or, or don't, hopefully you don't get injured, but something sore, make sure you stretch it out. And if you absolutely have to take a day off, make sure you get some sort of other exercise in, but hundred squats a day, I believe in you. You can do it. You're going to be sore at first. Just lighten the weight if you feel like you need a rest day. Just get the reps in. That's key. And build up to the goals that work for you and your situation. But uh, yeah, that's it for this. I'll catch you on day two of my 30 day 100 squats a day challenge. And I'm going to throw in lunges as well. I'll show you how to do lunges later on. So anyways, that's it for now. If you want to get one of these Vitruvians, go to getmyvitruvian.com, click one of the links in the bio, and if you want to sign up for more fitness updates and things like that, lifestyle, uh, I have a link in the description as well that you can sign up there. So that's it for today. Comment, share, subscribe. Let me know if you're doing the challenge. If you are, say, I'm in, I'm doing it. And tag me in your stories and videos going forward. So that's, that's it for now. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.